I'd like to quickly set up the Stream Elements chatbot for your Twitch stream. We're going to start on StreamElements.com and click Login in the top right. Obviously, connect with Twitch. And once you're on the dashboard, click on the chatbot drop down list and we're going to click on to settings. Now you want to make sure your bot status is active on the channel. If it's not active, there'll be a button here to add the bot. And what I suggest what you do is once you've added it in your chat, type slash mod stream elements, all one word, press OK. And you can see mine's already added as a moderator. And let's optionally give it a custom bot name. I'll click connect with Twitch. I'll give it authorization. And as you can see, the bot is now typing from my account instead. If you don't want it to do that, just press disconnect. So now let's look at how to add your own chat commands. So there is a load of default commands, including exclamation mark donate, although for some reason it's not added. But if you do have stream elements tipping set up, which is the revenue section, then exclamation mark donate does work by default. But anyway, let's add our own custom command. Let's just do a popular one, exclamation mark location. So I'm going to click on add new command. This can look quite overwhelming, but you only need to change two places. So here by default, it's exclamation mark followed by the command. For me, it's location and type a nice message into response type. So Harry lives in the UK. And then again, all of these default settings, they're typically fine. So let's just press activate command and then you can just check it in the chat. So I'll do exclamation mark location. And as you can see, Harry lives in the UK has now popped up from the bot. And then of course, you would just go ahead and add all the other commands that you want to add. You can go through and customize any of the default commands on this page. And if we check into this modules page, you can see there's a whole load of different customization options for you to try and increase the engagement in your Twitch chat. And on the timers page here, you can add a new timer, which is gonna type a repeated message. For example, every 30 minutes, you could say subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, this might look overwhelming on this page, but really all you need is the message here. And then you just choose up here an online interval and an offline interval. Now we did give the bot moderation capability. So this is the spam filter section. If you do want to turn those on, then just go through the different options that you want to turn on. And the bot can also remove certain words from your chat. Although Twitch's default moderation is pretty good at that. But if you want to do that, that's the banned words page. And we already looked at the settings. Now I mentioned the donate button earlier on. If you want to learn more about stream elements donations, you can watch this video.